what is up people another day another video this time it's not gonna be a reaction video i'm just gonna talk to you about something you already know what from the title but i'm gonna first show you something so i've been getting a lot of ads from this page lifewheel.co uh, they're promoting their ayurveda business we can actually take a look at the page you would have gotten ads too if you did watch some ayurveda based uh, videos reels posts profiles whatever and uh, let's see what he has to say should you have salads or anything raw along with your main food this is a question that many of us have asked whether we should do it or not and my straight answer to that is no do not have anything raw along with cooked food because your body will not be able to identify which is what and will find a very difficult time have a very difficult time managing both so please have raw food separately and cook food separately have a great day now immediately let's talk about red flags okay i'm going to talk about red flags whenever i see them and uh, see let's forget i weather let's forget all this there is no evidence that you can show me i've never heard anything of this sort so i'm going to ask you or anyone who's making such claims to show me how your body identifies what is raw and what is cooked can your body tell like does it have some sort of intelligence to tell cooked food apart from dry food can you can you explain how that works now all this is so there is some weird works of the theory of ayurveda and that's where i can i sm- i i can smell this kind of advice from a distance because i've heard stuff like this before and it all always comes from ayurveda theory your body doesn't have some sort of inter- intelligence to tell this apart all it can do is the molecules that your body recognizes and can process into the blood and that which it can't process it sends to the liver to metabolize it and see if it's a toxin that's what happens to alcohol your liver is what metabolizes alcohol and any other toxin so if you eat things that have toxins in them your liver will detox your body if your liver can't handle it you will get liver damage and all that stuff that i've talked about separately a lot also but that's another story but there are huge issues with ayurveda solely because uh, ayurveda in india at least ayurveda enjoys a special privilege like just the name ayurveda alone gives the product a lot of validity in the eyes of the average indian because indians believe ayurveda is somehow superior to modern medicine and i used to believe this too there was a time when i used to uh, imagine some sort of superiority in ayurveda i would have never imagined it was a pseudo sense then i did some research then i learned about how medical research needs to be done how it is done how it needs to be done why it needs to be done like that and that kind of research is not done in ayurveda now forget the fact that the theory of ayurveda is extremely flawed the products of ayurveda themselves they're not regulated in the market very well i've shown you you can go to my main channel and look at my ayush video which i'll link below uh i've done deep research on how the ayush ministry works and how regulations around ayurveda and other alternative medicines happen in india and uh these regulations don't look to see safety of these medicines and proof of efficacy of these medicines because the laws assume that the medicines are safe and are eff- efficacious because they've been in use for thousands of years now if i i'll talk about why those thousands of years are not enough to assume these things but because uh, the laws are like this uh, the regulations are like this what a lot of people get away with is adulterating their uh, ayurveda labeled medications with modern medicine steroids and whatever other medicines i've spoken about that too in my video you can take a look um, now because they adulterated simply uh, to make the medicine more effective and because these are with the doctors don't really give proper doses in the, along with their medicines what happens at is a lot of people consume these these so called medicines 
that contain a lot of toxins they go to the liver they get liver damage later and they end up uh, you know developing things like jaundice uh, liver disease a lot of medicines have a lot of alcohol so they develop fatty liver alcoholic liver disease and usually they end up at the liver transplant table and if they don't get a transplant they end up dying i know this is scary to hear but i would never say this unless i have evidence backing this up i've done a lot of research and you can go check out my ayush video but i'm going to talk about all of that here again in this video uh, to back up what i'm saying another reason why i feel i need to talk about this is because people often have a very simplistic understanding of what's wrong with alternative medicines i was on wimo's podcast the other day and someone a caller came on and he wanted to ask me questions about alternative medicines and his first statement was sure you claim that alternative medicines don't work what we are seeing is the placebo effect and immediately i was like is that what you took away this person is clearly familiar with me he is familiar with what i say about alternative medicines why i'm against alternative medicines but it surprised me that his takeaway was that i say that alternative medicines don't work because what you are seeing is a placebo effect i don't say that at all that's part of what i say but that's not my entire message i'm not saying anything against this person because i know that a lot of people have such simplistic understandings of a lot of things so when when your understanding is that altered medicines are believed not to work because what people tend to see is the placebo effect it's a very small statement that's easy for your brain to digest it's easy for you to understand when the actual fact is a lot more nuanced than this and i i go into a lot of detail in that video again i'm sorry for plugging it again and again but this my channel like into whatever the hell i want but um check out that video i've gone into everything in a lot of detail but i can see how information packed videos like those uh and the videos in which i you know i give everything in one go doesn't really do the trick either because it doesn't reach everyone either be- or because people watch it and instead of taking away the message in the video they will confirm what they already understand or if it's too hard for them to understand they'll simplify it and take away a simplistic understanding which is probably what this person did so the the only solution i can see in that case is talk about this again and again to the point where the message is out there in so many forms that eventually a person who sees multiple uh, pieces of this same information they take it away here is why alternative medicine is not a good option here is why 1000 years of its use does not prove efficacy here is what is wrong with alternative medicines see if if i have a fever and i take some medicine and i feel better later is it because of the medicine that i'm feeling better in a very simplistic understanding you will tend to say yes but there are a lot of factors which influence how i feel i may have had that fever because of a lot of reasons and that medicine may actually not do anything maybe my fever resolved on its own maybe it's some improvement in my diet that caused a resolution of my fever maybe it was the medicine that's also a factor but it could have been some some other medicines that i'm having that i didn't talk about in this example maybe uh maybe you know my temperature just went up that day and maybe it's for some other reason maybe i have some allergy or maybe it's something that that medicine cannot solve so when there are so many factors influencing that single end outcome end result which is me feeling better you can never say that the medicine is what made you feel better so when you test medicines you have to take into account the fact that the end result can be due to a lot of different factors so what you have to do is you have to control those factors in such a way that the only changing factor uh, is that of the medicine in such a case if taking the medicine despite all the other factors being controlled being held in place from varying too much varying in any way despite that fact if the medicine is causing improvement 
then we have reason to believe that the medicine is efficacious is effective so what tends to be done is the medicine is tested on a lot of people so if some people have fevers due to some other reason something like allergy or maybe they didn't get enough sleep or any of these other factors the average of the entire group gets gets to zero so if someone might have an allergic fever someone else might not in fact someone else might actually have something that can be treated by medicine and maybe this medicine may do it <clears throat> so such factors that vary on both sides of the average have they come to this average line testing on a lot of people testing on two groups where you where you have a lot of people again to some people you give the actual medicine to some other people you give something you say is the medicine but it's just a placebo with no medical effect even in that group you will see some improvement but if the improvement in your first group and your second group if there's a difference if there is a great improvement in your medicine group then that change since all your other factors are controlled i've spoken about other ways of controlling it in my uh, ayush video gone into detail but if those other factors are not are controlled then a difference in improvement is in between the groups is probably because of your medicine this is the kind of research that needs to be done the problem with ayurveda and every other alternative medicine but i feel i need to talk about i need to call out ayurveda a lot more because of its influence on the average indian the problem with ayurveda is that this kind of research is either not being done or is being done poorly poorly in a way that the end result will be in favor of the medicine despite the study not being designed properly so what i mean by by poorly is that maybe the study is only tested on a certain age group or on one gender or on uh, or on people who have a mild version of a certain disease we saw this in the case of coronal and covid-19 these kinds of uh, studies are usually picked up in immediately in a peer review but the problem is studies in ayurveda have either poor or no peer review they don't even get published in a journal they're just studies reported in a pdf file and put in the ayurveda web portal the ayush web portal again all of this i talk about in my video ayush um, link below so that's the main problem we don't know if medicines in ayurveda are actually actually effective in the way they claim because this kind of research is not being done so that's what i say i say i don't say they uh, alternative medicines don't work because of the placebo effect i say we don't know if they work because we we'll only know that if proper rcts proper trials are done on these medicines and that is not done in the case of alternative medicines i will talk about this again and again because i feel that is the only solution to the problem i talked about earlier in this video you can put your questions in the comments again but what questions are there i will talk about that in another video that i do on this topic if there's any takeaway from this video it's that alternative medicines don't work as an over simplification a better statement that you can take away is that all, we don't know if alternative medicines work because proper double blind randomized controlled trials that's what they call proper medical trials are not done on them i'll see you in the next one